Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor here. Non-sleep deep rest is all the rage right now, thanks to Dr. Andrew Huberman. And I wanted to take a step back and explore just what is going on scientifically, why it's so popular, and then talk about what you can do to reap the benefits or not do. So what is it? It's a fairly non-specific term, and it references really any state of mind that is calm, focused, and in a semi-sleepy state, usually with your eyes closed. Think of it as that space when you're not really awake, but you're definitely not asleep. Non-sleep deep rest is a way for your body to relax and lower your anxiety, which over time should allow the natural process to take over. When you're in non-sleep deep rest, there's a reduction in your sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight aspect, and an increase in your parasympathetic nervous system. That's the rest and digest aspect. Your body is not asleep, your brain isn't even in light sleep yet, but your body is experiencing total relaxation. Okay, so we kinda know what non-sleep deep rest is. What are the benefits? Research has shown it can actually relieve stress, improve your memory and cognition, and something called neuroplasticity. Sleep is great for memory consolidation and learning. But two studies have now shown us that non-sleep deep rest could be just as beneficial. One study from 2020 found that a period of post-training rest, that's quiet wakefulness with your eyes closed, provides a similar memory benefit compared to normal sleeping. While another study from 2018 reported that verbal declarative memory, that's names, dates, and facts, improved more following a 15-minute period of waking rest. And that's not just the mental and cognitive benefits, but non-sleep deep rest has profound physical benefits as well. We found research that shows it can reduce inflammation, reduce stress, anxiety, and even in some cases help control hypertension. It may improve your motor skill function and even help regulate insomnia and in some cases, blood glucose levels. So much of our society is about how productive you can be and how much productivity you can kind of wring out of your body and mind, but rest, mindfulness and restoration really helps balance our nervous system and restores our bodies and our minds. So why is it so popular? Well, to be fair, I usually tell people they can benefit from non-sleep deep rest if they're having trouble sleeping in the middle of the night. If you're lying there awake at night, research tells us that your body is getting some form of a restorative benefit. In fact, about one hour of non-sleep deep rest is equivalent to probably around 20 minutes of actual sleep. So that's why I usually try to tell people if you can't sleep in the middle of the night, don't worry. Non-sleep deep rest, it's not the same as sleep, but you do get some benefits. Remember, my whole goal is to get people over the hump of anxiety. The good news is, is it's not just a nighttime thing either. Adding this to your midday routine could really boost your brain. It's a little like a power nap without actually falling asleep. And you know, I'm a big fan of napping. You can actively do this throughout your day in little 10 to 15 minute increments. So we know that it's all the rage right now and we think it's probably for good reason. If you want more of my tips on how to get a better night's sleep each night, I have a video on what an ideal bedtime routine should be right here. So whether you're doing non-sleep deep rest or it's something that you actively try to implement throughout your day, or whether you just reap the benefits at night, non-sleep deep rest can really help your body and your mind. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sleep restful dreams.